blamed you, Todd. Margaret was crazy. So why make me move out? Because we were moving into this without even thinking it through, that's why. <laughs> I disagree. I think we've been thinking about it and talking about it no, too much. No, no, no. We've been talking about me, my terms. We've been talking about Sam. But you and me, we haven't talked about us. Come on. There are two other people in this equation. They're Jack and Star. What, well, we're going to just pretend we got this really happy little family. We've never been able to pull that off. And you know it. And I don't want to do that to the kids. I don't want to hurt them. And I don't want to hurt me. So I just think that you need to just take all this stuff and you and Sam move out. No. Excuse me? No. We're not going anywhere. You're not sure Walter was my father. I, I, I shouldn't have said anything. But you did. I, I don't have any proof of anything. Roxy is the one you should ask. Hey, Roxy's not talking. Is this why? Because she doesn't want to tell me my dad wasn't my dad? I honestly don't know, Rex. Hey, you know something, or else you wouldn't have said what you just said. And Corinne, please, tell me, who's my real father? You think you know me? I never forget a face, and yours is familiar. I doubt it. I, I'm, I haven't gotten that much in the world. And, uh... I have a new face. I have a new personality. It's a good one. Your face, it's handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I should get some work done. No, no, you're very attractive. So, are you ready for some highlights? I can do wonders with Mousy Brown. If you stick around, you'll see the new me. Stay away from my sister. The last thing she needs is you in her life. When did he leave? Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Any luck finding your... You, uh, the Buchanan's butler says that Jared is over at Buchanan Enterprises, so that's where I'm headed. No! You cannot do that. Tell me that this is a joke and that you did not have my sister committed. Technically, she had herself committed, which is what I was trying to tell you when the phone wow, rang. this really explains the urgency and you needing me to hire you. In fact, you were trying to talk me into hiring you before I found out, huh? Okay, I admit the timing was bad, but no, really, one thing has nothing to do with the other. How do you figure that? Jessica drew up a document asking to be committed to St. Anne's if Tess ever came back. Yes, I know that. And it killed her to do so, but she was doing it to protect Bree. All I did was call the doctor. Tess is back. I'm waiting for my mother and my husband, so I'm just going to go out and look for them. You can't. Not until you actually have the release papers. <sighs> well, I don't know what could be taking them so long. Allison? Allison Perkins. I know something you don't know, and I'm not telling. <laughs> I think it's best if, if, if you and Sam move out. Are you going to throw us out? There? I just, I think it's best. No, it's not best. It's not best for Sam. It's not best for me. And I think you know it's not good for you. I'm going to keep the five million. I helped yeah, you get custody. Yeah, I don't care about your money. I need you. You need me because you forgot how to take care of no, a two-year-old. No, I need you. I forgot a lot of things. You'll find some hot little nanny to... Can we stop your... talking about we Sam don't for a second? We don't talk about anything. I don't care. I think we do. I don't think you're hearing me. I need you here. You are my wife. In name only. I know, but it doesn't have to be that way. I think we can have a real family. I think we could have a real marriage. Charlie, 
while I appreciate the fact that you want to reach out to your son, you cannot compromise him by going over to B.E. I thought I explained all about Vicky. Yeah, but I know that she has kids with Clint Buchanan. Yes, most of whom work for B.E. Right, and they don't know me from Adam. Well, what if Vicky is there? Y you've told her all about this son you have. What if she puts two and two together? Realizes that Gerald is your son? She'll go straight to Clint. Gerald will end up in prison, and I know that's not what you want. But I don't know what else to do. I, he won't return my calls. I've left a half a dozen messages. Well, have you thought about writing to him? No, look, I don't want to play games, Dorian. I want to see my son. And if I run into Vicky, I'll figure something out. I don't, God, I miss her. Uh, Miles, I'll be with you in a second. Take a seat. Oh, excuse me, I gotta get the phone. I know I've seen you before. Have you ever been at St. Anne's? St. Anne's? Uh, is that a church? It's a sanitarium. I spent most of my life there. Really? I grew up in a hospital, too. <laughs> Isn't that marvelous? We have so much in common. Yes. You know, we really gotta do something about these split ends. Ow! Hey, Miles, did I tell you that my kid is getting married? Okay, if your brother wasn't my father, then who is? I don't know anything for sure, Rex. I deserve to know the truth. I remember a letter that my brother sent me many years ago. I, I didn't think much about it at the time, but... What, 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 did, what, did, what did he say? It wasn't so much what he said as the timing. It would have been around the time you were conceived. Anyway, he and your mother, they were apart a lot of the time. They were fighting. What about? Walter was jealous. Your mother, she was always very popular. She was drinking heavily. So you, th you think she had an affair? I think Walter suspected that she might have been unfaithful. Well, then why didn't he divorce her? I mean, why, why, why stay with her if he, if he thought that she was cheating on him and that I wasn't his? You're right, you're right. You know, it doesn't make any sense. You should just forget I said it. Forget that my dead father might not be my father? <laughs> I don't think so. You remember how Jessica voted with me at the board meeting? Okay, she did it because she was pretending to be Tess. She was hoping to uh, get me to slip up and force me into confessing that somehow I wasn't a Buchanan. So I called the doctor after the board meeting because I knew she was scamming me. Okay. She lied to you. Well, that's what I thought, but what do I know about split personalities? You know, maybe she was having a relapse, in which case it made perfect sense to call the doctor. Wait, 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 wait. Who's scamming who now? Because you don't give a rat's butt about my sister's mental health if you did. You would have called me or Nash. Oh, neither one of you would have listened to me. What about when I walked in on you two kissing? Okay, she was pretending to be test there too, and I was testing her. Really? You're just testing her. Are you sure you weren't playing along to make sure you secured that vote on the board meeting? I've got a secret and I'm not telling. I That's enough, got... Allison. You'll be late to arts and crafts. <gasps> oh. You know, I left my paint box in my room. I know. I'll stay here with Sister Teresa and my old friend Jessica, and you go get it for me. It, it, it's under my bed. You know each other? Unfortunately, yes. Keep an eye on them. Yeah, you know, Sister, I've known Jessica since she was an itty-bitty baby. Haven't I, Jessica? Sad but true. Yeah, well, I've got a secret okay. and, and not... <laughs> Finders, keepers, and I've got a secret. If I ask you about your secret, will you shut up? You have to sing it or I won't answer. What is your secret? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. You know what? There is a reason that you're in here. You're in here too, Jesse Poop. I'm, I'm sorry, sister. I won't do that again. I may be crazy, 
but I still know things. I'm not interested. Fine. Your loss. Allison Perkins? Vicky! Vicky and Jessica! A family reunion! And Ben! Oh, hi, Ben! <laughs> yeah.